You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Nah. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant, really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yep. Yeah. What do you I'm think you're doing? Right now, He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, down. for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. That's some bullshit. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. Very I well. know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. I don't really give a shit if you're sorry, crooked man. No, I understand, of course. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The right, recent anyway, murders okay. that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. It was Georgie, all right? Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> oh, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Get your hands off me! Look, the fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? No. Nope. Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, Jail, 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 You're just jail. gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start this. Don't make any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me on? <sighs> I mean, he seemed genuine, but at the same time, huh? Fuck it, it is what it is. Put me under the fucking carriage! I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fucking the fuck out of here? I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Yes, you are you are. kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well.
speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Bring her ass out here, yo. Bring your ass in here, Blade Mary. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Not yet. Well, look at you all fixed up. Goddamn time. Yep. Over here. No oh, shit. Man, me keep pressing this damn X button. Escaping me, never. Mm -mm. Escaping me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Get up, bro. Get up. Go it. Are you sure? Yeah. Go hit. Come on, let's go. He's not. Keep going.
going to jail, going to jail, going to jail, 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 jail. All he had to do was to accept the fact he was going to jail, but you know. Come on, we can't stay here. Yeah, he could just, he could just accept the fact he's going to jail. Okay. But, you know, he want to add all stubborn and shit. So let's go. Bring your ass out here, bro. Let's go to jail. Let's go to jail. We're going to jail. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hope you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Not I'm really. taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Well, it isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. A we mistake. all have. He's crazy. What? He made <laughs> sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you know what you fucking- mean. Ah, You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us, and as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them, and then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Hmm. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. But he told you his you did it, fault. so I, I'm not projecting oh, anything. Oh, oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? Stop complaining and take responsibility for what you did. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let him go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you! Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. In the first Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. No, I like it. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. Who they are? When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. Is that a, a gimmick. In the Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. 
So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... Not really. No. If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? Huh? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't real. Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I'm giving you the option. It would be different <laughs> here. But it's all the Vivian, fucking... I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? That, what yeah. I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! No. Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Uh, what? Uh, 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 no, no, Damn! No, no. Not what? Huh? Why did you have to do that, Vivian? I ain't do Vivian. it. Shit. I ain't do it. Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? I ain't do it. <laughs> I didn't, didn't do it. I it, didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <laughs> I didn't do it. She made that decision on her own. I ain't do it. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I, I not in this. Well... <laughs> I ain't do that. I ain't... Oh, fuck. Get up. Get, get your pants here. Oh, damn. Get... Oh, don't think so, Bigby. Damn! I ain't cut you that bad. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. How you gonna remember when he gonna be Oh, dead? found oh. you by the river. Okay. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. You deserve worse than this, Georgie. I suppose you're right. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Man, just... I ain't gonna do it. Fuck it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. What? You're just gonna leave me here? I'll send someone for your body. Damn. Both Come of on. you. You saw me. Fuck you! Hey, she said do it by the book. Shit. She said do it by the book. I ain't gonna. Uh -uh. <laughs> she said do it by the book. That's not what she meant. Well, <laughs> that's how I interpret it. And I interpret it not to, not to kill him this time. I would have killed him, but I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> He'll be all right. <laughs> he will be a okay. No, he won't. No. He made a decision. He chose to be what he did. I Did. I made my decision. Time to end this once and for all, my boy. Time to end this once and for all. Of course.
in game in game Big B Wolf Boy Mary The Big Bad Wolf You used to be some. Damn. Damn. They used to fear you. That is crazy. They died. They died. Wait, that's not a gun. It's about time you show up. I had to take care of some little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. Well, you're I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. Yep. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a man. What a man. Pulling punches while my back is turned. <laughs> yeah, you can't fight me, bitch. Yeah, I know. I know you do. Yeah, you can't fight me, bitch. Come on. What? Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah, you thought you got me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was aware. I'm aware, bitch. I know my You ain't gonna get me. You ain't gonna get me.
girl if I be like a guy. She's Naruto. Oh my god. Hello, Bigby. What's up? You look tired. Mm -hmm. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of... I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Why is this that's right. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Wait, pause. Why is it in Spanish? Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah. 
we gotta face that real quick. No, we gotta fix that real quick. No. Why that shit is in Spanish? <laughs> that shit is in motherfucking Spanish. Why? I don't know. It's no change in it. Damn. How'd you gonna zoom? Try. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Nah. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull! Shit! I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Very fine, I don't house. need to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's, He's dead. dead, isn't he? Yep. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. No, give me the gun. What do you say? No, give me the gun. Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand. Let's go. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <laughs> and your punishment will follow. Hey. <laughs> I ain't killed. So, I don't hear snow. It's awesome. How do you do it? Bruh, I did the moral day, okay? I, 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 I... <laughs> I didn't kill him. I know. I know. Are you fucking kidding when me? Is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. There, happy he's now. Broken. Thank God. Mother. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about... You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Thank you. It's about time you showed up. Shut the now fuck up, throw this bro. asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting? You killed Lily! She was my sister! Oh, what do you have to say Where for yourself? Where the fuck do you get off? You think you have what the right to just do it? You're a fucking sir. You should be ashamed. Asshole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we. The crooked man is charged with 
the murder As I already of informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not... What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to Wait you Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sis- Well, where is yeah, he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Ah, oh, oh, damn. <laughs> where is that rotten scoundrel now? Shut is the fuck he up. still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Uh, Sheriff? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end. There was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I ain't do it. I believe it was him. I ain't so do you it. See, the culprit has been punished. That There's doesn't no change anything. This. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly In clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I was and told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. And you can have your... Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Big... Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding oh. and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sa Now, is there anything you would like to... <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We Come on, your... it's up. Everyone just shut up for a We wanted a chance to talk. We'll go what? ahead. We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government. And most importantly, it's sick. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed. Where it fucking belongs. So let's get on but we with it. We promised you a chance to defend your, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Want this to let is just let him talk, bro. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't. Oh, this is ridiculous. Go on top, bro, so we can get it over with. I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> you ahead. have the floor. Go ahead and talk. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of... He was a total scoundrel. Lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point? George, he was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my day. That was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful. I had nothing to do with Damn this. Is such a bullshit. He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? I really don't Holly, know at this point. Holly, please. <laughs> Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Lloyd. They do it because they want to protect me. As I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. <coughs> you might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. What's he talking about? I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see. You want to cut right to the point. I can... Thank Let you. me explain this to you. My employees are just that. I see some of them are here among you. Hmm. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as 
What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us you all in line. You forget it me who put you in. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was... Hmm. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket. Really? What about the hunting? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. With nowhere else to turn, she came to... And what did I do? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get... Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but... Bigby... What? You were gonna burn her trees? No. Why would you want that? Is that true? Don't blame Snow. She had her reason. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow That's wanted... That's not why. Guess it is! It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you. And you being too damn. soft. To... It had nothing to do with a Crooked Man. God damn. Hold on. Wait. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me... I truly want what's best, and Please. that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deep, and so does the sheriff. Hey, and I'll go too far down. Yeah, I'll right. Go. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interest. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his... Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. <laughs> They're right. Yay! You're all go. still afraid of him. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town Come on. is over. There we go. Let's go. And That's what I'm talking about here. those girls will have the Yeah. Come on. Yes. Join me. What? What you got to say now? Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a, a conf confession that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie- Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right. Huh? Just of mean. course it's right! This man permitted all of you, for profit! Let Georgie. me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for t since, you know, Bigby works. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. For fuck's sake, killing someone who's trying to kill you is they hardly... They to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who sent those two freaks anyway? 
Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that yeah, night. Yeah, tell me. We're that. handling it I internally. Have I heard that before. How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? He was a suspect, and I needed an. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Hmm. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish this for mine. This is completely different. I do I all want no women. <laughs> those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their this own crime. Right. Oh, this isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal Listen, with them. I know. The laws apply when we. Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to be? Oh my god. Everyone just shut the fuck I mean, a certain level of privilege should be to afforded. Help. This is how it's yes. always been. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this disease world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own- Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Mm. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our deep? Who will protect you from the big bad wall? Who will be Bigby? the- Bigby? Miss White? Oh, she goes, huh? Excuse I, me, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the... Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's she doing here? Shut up. I'd like to... I, I need to say... Go ahead. Yeah, kind of. Go ahead. What you guys say? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Talk. You probably don't remember. I don't know why I was afraid to come I here. Dare. Just no. shut up. Hey. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we... And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn... But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Oh, shit. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly uh. To establish some order here. Vivian killed her back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa! Know... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. That's Faith, a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith oh, and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. This just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. You're going to take the word of us. At least stupid... five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. We saw it first. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Can me I kill too. him now? <laughs> so that's it. Right? Run down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he... Listen to yourselves! We don't want to have him, bro. Fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what... Well, I let you talk. Well done, then. Thanks. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become what are murderers. You Shut the about? fuck up. He's nah, guilty. Why are we here I now? I know that, but we don't have to... Nah, we nah, can imprison nah, him. Nah, Lock him up forever. Nah, somewhere he can never nah, hurt. Nah, How can we be sure he won't escape? Nah, I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. No. <laughs> Okay, everyone, listen up! Can everybody shut the fuck up? 
Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Can you Someone needs up? to make a decision. Ooh. I hope ah. you're testing yourself. You Democracy. should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Oh, Are damn! You sure? <laughs> this isn't it's how what it's... The people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is... Ah! Kill you yes, and sheriff. lock him up. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock Just him away. Fucking what am I saying? Fuck it. Everybody fucking saying it. Everyone, I'm not this way. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Eggs. Come on. He tried to kill me this time, so uh, he tried to kill me. No. He tried to kill me, so he might, so you can fear me. I, he tried to kill me, so I'm justified. <laughs> Self defense. Really and faith. Yeah, I, was, I was justified. He yes, tried to kill me. <laughs> another one of us to erase from the books. Well, he tried to kill me first. I, I'm justified. I, I, I you fear me. I. <laughs> He just, I justified. He attacked me first. He attacked me first. I was, it was self defense. I was going, okay. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. I ain't snitch on you, bitch ass. So don't don't look at me crazy. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? What? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. You better run your ass in that room. Come on. I'm going. Jesus. We only have like. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. I forgot. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. I know, right? Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Don't worry about it, me. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. And you gave...
give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. <laughs> she said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do oh, we man. have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> ah! You broke the rules, TJ. You're not allowed to stay in Fable Town without a glamour. <laughs> okay. Come on. It won't be so bad. Can have I haven't been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? Can I have an option? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Can I have an option? Bye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. Saying oh, I regret that. I regret that so much. <laughs> That's the one thing I regret. God damn. It's okay. Anyway. Damn. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because... What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I don't know. I'm not happened? sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Chris. The minute Faith stole stole that photo, we had we had dirt one of the crooked crooked. I, I I I had no choice. You have to. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean, came clean to join, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. What? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I don't know what happened. That night I, at the club, George, Georgie kicked and told me he had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this, not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. Oh my god. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh... It's not it's now. <laughs> I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after... I tried, tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her. So I did the only thing I... I... 
I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh my goodness. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, I could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You... I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. Hmm. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough and we're up for it. I just can't win with winning. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we know where we stay more. Things are just, just... Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for... Maybe they don't, they don't want to admit it, but... Without you, none of this... You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the Crooked Man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job, and I left, I left faith that you're if any, if anyone's more a chance against the Crooked Man. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or better or worse, Fable Town would. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Really? You gonna say that now? No, she gonna die. <laughs> I need to tell you. Something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me you like my ribbon. Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Point, fuck it. I, she helped me at this point, though. I don't even know it. I hope this get brought up in the in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, second game. TJ, I feel bad for TJ. I feel bad. I, I hey, I, hey, he broke the rules though. <laughs> but still, 